Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Meg Morrison. We've made a few tweaks on the show this year. One of the biggest ones being my new co-host, whose major accomplishments include quarterbacking the Edmonton Huskies, and he's also appeared in two Alberta Summer Games as a soccer player. Other notable moments include winning Olympic gold in 2010. He's a two-time world champ and a three-time Briar champ. Third on Team Cooey, Mark Kennedy. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for agreeing to do 12 episodes with us this year. And we start out like this on a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Yeah, a little bit wet here, but uh, it's going to be a great season. Oh, and don't forget, uh, six-time Briar All-Star. Oh, is that it? No, there's more, but we'll save it for the rest of the season. Oh, good. This should be fun. Okay, as your first hosting duties, I'm going to have you introduce what course we're at today. This is it, eh? I'm this really hosting. It. Yeah, okay. it's happening. Today, we're just west of Edmonton at a course perennially named in Canada's Top 100, the Ranch Golf and Country Club. The Ranch combines a championship caliber course with a welcoming environment so you can truly enjoy the game of golf. They are also the golf tournament kings and can host any event. Our guest today is no stranger to the ranch. He's the perfect guest to kick off season four of the Pro-Am Golf Show, star quarterback of the Edmonton Eskimos, and two-time Grey Cup champion, Mike Riley. Well, Mike, welcome to the show. Again, this is your second time coming on, so yeah. thanks so much for that. Yeah, no problem. I'm happy to be here. I always like to come and show off my amazing golf skills, um, and we can lose as many balls as we want, and no one ever knows the real story, so I love it. Do you remember the outcome of the last one? I remember it got too dark for me to play my best golf. I was in a sand bunker, um, but I think I beat Strudwick, and that was the only thing that mattered. Who didn't you beat? Uh, Did you win, Meg? I don't remember that part of it exactly. So <laughs> that doesn't happen. We might have to go back to the tape and figure <laughs> that one out. I do think you handed it to us pretty good there. So yes! let's let's not let <laughs> that won. happen today. Yeah, yeah. I plan on winning always on the golf course. And we know that you're pretty good at performing in the cold. Mind you, so are you. Yeah, this is going to be a battle. We're right today. at home right now. Yeah. This is great cup weather, so that's great. Okay, I'm just going to host. These guys can golf. <laughs> We're going to start off with a tip. We're going to head out to number 17 here at the ranch, meet up with the GM, Murray McCourt. He'll start us off there. We're here beside the 17th green. Murray, what do you got for us? Well, we're going to hit a bump and run uh, chip shot. A lot of people hit flop shots when they're around the green, and uh, that doesn't work out too well for people most often. So we're going to teach a bump and run shot that'll help people save strokes around the green. Sounds good. Anything that can help Meg with a few strokes is, uh, is a great idea. Absolutely. She needs all the help she can get. I agree. Really? First episode, Mark? <laughs> First episode. <laughs> First episode. I'm regretting this decision. OK, Murray, show us the way. All righty. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to teach you the bump and run chip shot. A lot of people, when they get around the green, they hit the ball too high, hitting flop shots uh, to the hole. What that ends up doing is a lot of times they end up sculling the ball right over the green, or sometimes they'll hit it fat, and the ball will just end up right here in front of them. So the bump and run chip shot, the idea is just to get it on the green as quick as possible and then it run out to the hole just like a putt would. So how, how we're going to do that is we're going to step in really close to the golf ball, and we're going to play the ball right off our back foot, have our feet really close together, and our body turns slightly open. And when you get your club face uh, in behind the ball aimed at your target, you need to push your hands forward, keeping the club face square. The loft in the club is going to pop the ball up in the air a little bit over this grass area between us and the green. But it's, we want to get the ball on the green as soon as possible. And how we're going to do that from this position when we get our hands forward is we're just going to pretend it's like a putt. We're going to use our arms and our shoulders just like this as if we were, had a putter in our hand. No hands and no wrists, so the ball is not going to get up in the air very high. The loft in the club will pop it up a little bit over this grass, and then we'll get it on the green rolling to the hole just like a putt would. Be way more consistent than hitting the ball up in the air. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate demonstrate that for you. So again, we'll just set in square behind, uh, get the club face in square, off the back foot, body slightly open. Our hands are pushed forward. And now we go ahead and hit one. Oh, playing the break. Oh, good shot. Well, that doesn't look hard at all. <laughs> well, I hope not. They say QBs have soft hands. Something like that. Something like that. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's got to settle. I feel pretty, pretty good. good about that. Yeah. Got to settle, yeah. Dialed in. Oh, that has Oh, a that's going to be pretty good, actually. Look at this. Oh, wow. Leave yourself a nice uphill putt. OK, I'll take it. Oh, even better. Bad. Go! Wow. Close as two. Yeah. Good Thanks, chip. Thanks, Murray. Good chip. 
It's well, like good. pulling accuracy. That's impressive. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll finish out this hole and see who can get it in first on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Kentwood Ford isn't just going to find you a vehicle that's safe, classy, and affordable. They're also going to find you one that fits your lifestyle. They suited me up with this 2016 Ford Explorer that's perfect for my daily routine. Whether I'm picking up groceries, taking my daughter to dad's class, or going on another shoot for the Pro-Am Golf Show, the Ford Explorer gets me and all my belongings there in style. Let Kentwood Ford enhance your transportation. Visit their new showroom at 97th Street and 133rd Ave or their used Supercenter at 101 Street and 137th Ave. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Ranch Golf and Country Club with quarterback for the Edmonton Eskimos, Mike Riley. We just finished the pro tip, but before we finish off these birdie putts, Mike, I just wanted to ask you a little bit about winning the Grey Cup, uh, what it felt like, but also comparing to the Grey Cup you won in 2011, because I imagine it was two quite different experiences. Yeah, um, you know, it's definitely different being the backup and being a starter. Um, you have a totally different experience. Um, both were awesome. It was great to be a part of that Grey Cup in 2011, kind of learn what it was all about. And I think that uh, made it easier for me this last season when I was the starter. Um, but both teams had similarities in the sense of we caught fire towards the end of the season. I mean, we won 10 straight in Edmonton this past season to win the Grey Cup. And, you know, in BC, we started out 0-5. And then we, we peeled off a bunch of wins and we're the hottest team going into the Grey Cup game. So uh, that's generally how it goes in the CFL. Any team has a chance to win it. Whoever you know catches fire at the right time is, is going to walk away with the trophy, and that was us last year. And just a roller coaster of emotions because you're so amped up to play the season last season. You play the first game, injury, and then you're out. Yeah, it was tough. I ended the 2014 season with a broken foot and rehabbed all off season and got ready for the year. And I knew that we had a great football team um, and I knew that we were going to have something special. And then to go out in, in week one and, and lose nine weeks of the season uh, was pretty devastating, but it could have been a lot worse. It could have been a season ending injury. And thankfully, you know, our training staff was able to get me back and get me healthy for the second half of the season. And, uh, you know, the rest is history, I guess. So we're trying to do it again this year and, and uh, trying to do it by playing all 18 games. That's the plan so <laughs> the rest of the first hole is brought to you by pro star energy so meg we just had a conversation about wearing two gloves and you said you would never do it i'm double gloving it now it's cold it's cold <laughs> but uh i'm owning it now well, we're not gonna have to worry about that are we no i don't think so i mean it's an uphill putt but i don't know if she's got she made it oh my oh. goodness wow oh, no. Got a bit of a downhill bender here, Mike. Yeah, you can be real aggressive with these. I feel like uh, it's no big deal. Turn, oh, oh, turn. Oh, that putt doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I have Mark, to make this mine. Is all on you. Now I know typically in the golf show this is a gimme, right? No. But I'll just make it anyway. Oh! oh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Burned the edge. What a hack. Oh, you know, it was a it was a good go. effort. At least you didn't leave it short. I mean, it was only three feet, but at least you didn't leave it short, so that's good. I don't know what to say. Do you want to just stew on it for a bit longer? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, we get All to right. hit the big dog. Yeah, soon, we'll get her so. back. Yeah. Hole number one goes to yours truly. We're going to go talk to Murray one more time about this beautiful golf course, and then we'll play the second hole. Well, we got a rainy day today, which is rare, and it's something that we've actually needed, but you guys are doing something really cool on Tuesdays, and it kind of ties in with the fact that we really needed this rain. Yeah, absolutely. We're doing a customer appreciation day on Tuesday, so we have a, a lower rate, or early bird rate all day on uh, Tuesdays, and $5 of every one of those uh, green fees on Tuesdays all year long, we're gonna donate to Fort McMurray to help out with uh, people in need from the fires that just happened up there, which obviously this rain is very helpful to help, uh, help end that, but uh, we're gonna do that all year long to give 
give great deals to people to come out here and play golf on Tuesday and help out Fort McMurray at the same time, so it's a win-win for everybody. That's awesome. Good for you guys. I was hitting up the practice facility before the, we came out here today. I see that you guys have a whole bunch of new stuff at the driving range. Yeah, absolutely. We did a range renovation over the winter time, so we have a fancy new uh, building there, but the, the key thing is it's a great place to come and practice now. We have the best range matting system that's available in the world right now. The, a few of the private clubs have what we have, but uh, no other public golf course in the Emerson area has the matting system that we have, so it's absolutely awesome to hit off of and, and a great place to come and practice. I mentioned it off the top of the show in the intro, you guys are the golf tournament kings. What do you have going on this summer? Well, same old, same old. You know, the economy's hit a little bit, so our tournament rounds aren't quite as high as they have been in the past, but, uh, you know, we still are probably the number one tournament golf course in the in the province for tournament rounds that get played out here. So we're always looking for more, and uh, that's what we do. We're really good at, uh, at taking care of tournaments when they when they come here and play. So uh, if anyone's out there looking for a place to have a golf tournament, the ranch is a place to come. Absolutely. Awesome. As the tears coming down my face <laughs> from being frozen. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's a rainy day out here today well Marie thank you so much all right thanks for coming we'll have more on the Pro-Am Golf Show after this the Pro-Am Golf Show is brought to you by Moosehead Logger how fast is it plenty fast it's not how fast you mow it's how well you mow fast it's not how fast you mow it's how well you mow fast it's not how fast you mow it's, it's how, how well you mow fast it's how well you mow fast so, well, you mow fast. Even if it doesn't catch on, doesn't mean it's not true. The John Deere Z-Track Z535M with our re-engineered deck to mow faster, better. From your farm to your lawn to your weekend, Martin Deerline has you covered. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here with Grey Cup champion Mike Riley at the ranch. Mike, we're down one. Yeah, we struggled a bit with the uh, with the flat stick there, but now we get to hit the big dog, so I think we got a chance. Things are going to change. Yeah. You know what it is? The power of the double glove, and I don't know if you could see this, but somebody... I bought in. Mm. He is bought in. But we're going to start it off with the long drive competition, and it's brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Excellence. Let the big dog eat. There it is. Oh. oh yeah. It's going right, should be in the trees. Oh, oh. beauty. Deceiving. That's fairway. Somebody learned how to drive. All right, here we go. I think you might need a wider stance. I think so too. I prefer to sit down on a chair when I, I think swing. He's gonna swing soft. Oh, it's a bit right. That uh, should be trees. That might be the ninth green. Not a lot of golfers today, so you can play whatever hole you like. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, well played. Turn a bit, a little Turn draw. A little, little bit more. Yep. Very nice. Second place, but very nice. No, that didn't go very far at but all. But then again, you're on the correct hole. The rest of the second hole brought to you by Summers Drilling. You're expecting. Yes. Congratulations. Your Thank wife you. is expecting. Well, yeah. Yes. I feel like I'm also, I'm taking some ownership. I'm pregnant. We're pregnant. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But You're we, half responsible. Yes. Yes, that's right. Um, yeah, I guess it doesn't happen without yeah. kicks two to tango, it as does. they say. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we are. We're expecting our first uh, later this year. Very excited for that. You timed it out really well, too. It's all about timing, right? November? Yeah, November, playoff baby. Yeah, so playoff baby, awesome. So hopefully there will be plenty of reasons to celebrate November. So, but your wife doesn't live in Edmonton with you? No, she lives in Seattle. She comes up for all the home games, but she'll actually be moving out here in October uh, to be here, have the baby here. Awesome. And is that where you spend most of your off-season? Yeah, yeah, we're in Seattle. Uh, we both grew up in Washington State, and um, so we go back there and kind of make that home base. But uh, again, it's an hour and 20-minute flight, so we're back and forth to Edmonton quite a bit. Now showcasing the ninth green here at the Ranch Golf and Country Club. The only problem is we're on 18. Well, 
That would have been nice to know when we were on the tee block. Oh, you didn't know you were playing that hole. You no. thought it was this one. I mean, come uh, on. Well, good luck with this shot. <laughs> Couple right. leafy trees in the way. Yeah, no. I'm rooting for you, Mike. Thank you. That's all that means everything to me right now. Go! That's gotta go. Go! That's gotta go. Go, go baby. Chance. Oh. No one can see oh, it. Short. It, and with the height that it had on it, it may be plugged right beside the green. Don't forget your feet are below the ball, so you need to aim somewhere. Never been more warm. It's <laughs> my tip, somewhere. Oh. Oh, that's aiming too far right. Get oh, right oh, in the oh. Oh. oh, a little Shoot. kick. <laughs> Sorry, I was still admiring my long drive. Oh, just hung on to the fairway too. Just hung on. Where am I going? Sit. Oh, oh that's oh, going to be a tester coming that down. That is a long. Nobody's on the green. <laughs> this is a scary shot. Oh my goodness. Sorry, right. you won the last hole. This one doesn't even matter. Oh, oh that's a fair effort from there. Good out. I'm totally yeah. taking that. Good. I'm fine yeah. with that. This is a close your eyes and hope it ends up somewhere still in play. I think it's like called it. a Hail Mary. There we go. Yeah. Oh, a double hit. Okay, so that's four shots. <laughs> We're still not on the green. I haven't even seen a double hit maybe ever. <laughs> so there is a chance that you may not be on after this shot. That is a greasy downhill. Oh, I like it. And slow down. It takes off right slow here. Down. Hit it. Oh, Hit slow it. down. Oh no. Sit. Oh no. Sit. Oh no. Stay on. Still not on the green not anymore. Not on the green. <laughs> <laughs> okay. These greens Opening. aren't even regulation. <laughs> this is like going out and throwing seven picks in a game, <laughs> which hasn't happened yet. But I can imagine that it would feel similar. All right. Oh. Settle. Yeah. Please, Settle man. down, ball. Stay on the green. He's on. All right, well, I win. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that was the goal, right? <laughs> there it is. Just to get it on the yeah. green. Go, 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 go. Shoot. It's OK, I've sunk one that's further than that. You're on. On the last hole. All right, so I noticed that both of you guys were at least on the correct hole off the tee, so I'm not sure what your excuses are. Excuses are bad golfers. That's but this is still for the win. That's more of a reason than an excuse, but that's okay. I was gonna say, because it's cold. There you go, that's an excuse. Us pro athletes don't have excuses, right, That's Mike? right, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's never anyone else's fault. Oh. No. Well, that's no gimme, Mark. I want to pick that up and throw it in the water. But I'm not going to, because I still have a chance to win. Yeah, you do. Yeah. I feel like double would still be competing for the win here. I'd take it on a regular round. End the suffering. Yes. Stay up. You know what? I'm going to give you yeah, that one. I read that one really good. This is for a bogey. And this is going to break a mile. Yeah, I'm not so confident with this. Oh, ooh, ooh, I hit that hard. Ooh, ooh. Straight up the hill. Don't overthink it. Okay. Oh, well there done. There you go. Yes. Just so much We're still alive, bud. So much confidence in that putt. Wins it with a bogey. Wow. And hey, thanks for not giving me a super hard high five. You're welcome. Which I know your hands are cold. Hand. Yeah, awesome. Okay, I've got to win. You've got to win. I have a feeling the third hole is going to be your hole. Before we play that... Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> Let's go take a look at one of the more obscure rules of golf, brought to you by Cantork. If you have to play a shot near a cactus and you're worried about getting pricked by needles, you may pad your body with a towel as long as you don't violate rule 13-2, which is fairly taking a stance but you can't cover the cactus with the towel. The penalty is two shots in stroke play or loss of hole in match play. Gantork is the solution to your bolting problems. 
With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantorque will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it, buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in store or online at cantorque.com. Torque it easy with Cantorque. Problem solved. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. It's time for our co-host challenge, Meg versus Mark, brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. Fighting it out all season to see who will reign supreme. We're gonna start this one off with a KP challenge, par three, how are you feeling? Uh, in this wind, still confident. <laughs> Should be interesting, I'll let you go first. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Wind may be a factor. Maybe a, it may be a factor. Nice day we picked for this. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sit down. Oh, it's not on the green. Ooh. All I have to do is hit the green. So I've left the door wide open for you. Hitting the green seems impossible right now with this wind, but let's see. Looks like a winner. Oh, I had to put that one pretty far out to the right just to play this wind. It did. It's a little crazy out here today. One nothing for Meg. Disaster. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Ranch Golf and Country Club with Edmonton Eskimos quarterback and Grey Cup champion, Mike Riley. It's about the only thing I've been a champion of so far today, I think. So far? There's still one hole left. That's true. There's one hole left. Meg has a win. I have a win. You've been a great guest. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank and, you. That's uh, very kind. We're going to start off this third hole with another long drive competition. Box is yours. Oh, oh beauty. Nice Boom. Shot. I liked the surprise in your voice when you saw that it was going straight. <laughs> oh, I was surprised. I'll take it. So ready for this. Let her be so great. Oh my god. Come around a bit. It's coming back. It's gonna be playable right over oh, yeah. a group of trees. I'm ready to eagle this bad boy. Okay, Meg. Oh she, she did. did crush it. Yeah, she did. That's the best. She came to play today. So far. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh it's oh, just in the road on the fairway. Mm. Oh, I hate when Is that, that happens. Is that two long drive competitions you just won? Welcome to the show. Curlers, I'll tell you what. All right, now let's play the rest of the third hole. You gotta feel pretty good about this long drive. I do. Furthest one away. Oh, that almost fell good. over. That should play. Swung out of your heels on that Smart one. Smart play, I did. I almost fell, but I'll take it. Oh, oh yeah. Nice shot. Oh, I almost lost my balance there too. Wow, good swing. Okay, Very it's nice. safe. Now we'll see if Mike can get there in two. Going with the smart play. Yeah, gonna play it safe, lay it up. Hmm, it's disappointing. Hmm. I was, I'm surprised. Oh, that a little slip. A little Perfect. slip, but that's the best shot of the day for me, so I'll take it. Our shots have intimidated him up I to this so. point. We're gonna take a quick break here from our third hole and we're gonna incorporate a little football into our golf game. I like this. Okay, how accurate are you on the golf course with uh, the football? Oh, on the golf course <laughs> in general, clearly not very. Um, but with I, should this do, thing, I should be able to do a little better with that, I would hope. Okay, so what's the challenge? We're gonna hit a golf cart moving across the fairway with Corey in it. <laughs> Corey, our production assistant. Okay, sounds good. You're going to do this, we'll say 30 yards out. Okay. 
Let's go, Mike. I'm scared for Corey. Yeah, I got a rouch. <laughs> I think he caught it. I think he caught it. <laughs> All right, well done. No production assistants were hurt oh, during the filming of the Pro Am Golf Show. <laughs> nice catch. Nice catch, bud. Great catch. Let it rip. You got this, Mark. Oh, oh yes. I like it. Yes. I like it. Yeah. Oh, hey. Well done. Thanks, buddy. Well done. <laughs> Nice shot. All right, two for two on hitting the cart. All right, double gloves again. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's it. That's a money shot. Money shot. Nice for my girl. <laughs> Poor Corey. <laughs> Clearly, we're better with the football than the golf clubs. On this, this is the day, best game ever. <laughs> we'll call it a tie. Uh, Mike wins. Uh, Mike wins. He's the quarterback. He wins. Are you having a hard time focusing after all that? Yeah, oh, I went I from am. doing something I'm really good at back to doing this, this that I suck at, so, yeah. Oh, I pulled it. Oh, hang on a, hang on Long. a bit, hang on a bit. That is a, oh, sit. In big shot off the tree. Oh. Off. A little lucky. Knock this one close, easy birdie. Oh, get left the club. Get like the club. It. Get up. Go. Ooh, Ooh a little short. A little Not short, bad. but. You're on though. But it's dancing. Oh, it looks good. That could get be left. all right. Turn a bit. Did get left a bit. That's a long putt, though. It's all right. Well, if it was sunny out, we'd have some shade from this lovely tree that somehow managed to keep your ball from going onto the next tee block. So you're welcome. Yeah, Thanks, it tree. Helped. It did. A little up and down here. Up and down. Still make par. Oh, nice. Oh, bad oh, hop. Bad that kind of skipped out of there. That Sit. keeps going. No, no. Meg's going to show me the way. Oh. Yes. Make the putt. Get it close. Okay. Yeah. All right. Lag putt. Oh, settle down, baby. Settle. It's got some steam. Settle. That's not bad. Okay, I gave her a good run. Turn more. I'm a little worried about showing Meg the way here. I'm actually not worried about that at all. Yeah. See, uh, see who you're going for here based on what you do with this putt. I guess he's on your side. Get there. Wow. Oh, short. Ooh. Well putted. Well, taking the gloves off, really. Wow, for the win, look at that. That is aggressive. She is feeling it right now. Yeah. Nope. Mm. Ooh. Shoot, Good. it's a lot closer than Mike's though, so. Okay. I got feet. No, I pushed it. Ah, it's a good okay. thing you don't throw like you putt. <laughs> Here we go. Everybody ready? <gasps> yes. Oh, wow. All right. Well. You pretty much donated that show to me, guys. Thanks. Nice win. You know, this is my second, well, third appearance. Second time it was actually my episode, and I'm yet to win, so maybe next oh. year. Well, there's one more thing to be awarded, and that's the shot of the show. For that, I'm going to bring in Russell Entwistle. He's with Black Opal Energy, and you have the honors of choosing out of all those wonderful shots that you <laughs> saw today. So many to choose from. <laughs> Which is the best? Uh, there were some good shots for sure, but I would say probably Mike Riley's uh, toss into the golf cart. I'm scared for Corey. Yeah, I got a rouch. <laughs> I think he caught it. I think he caught it. <laughs> All right, well done. No production assistants were hurt oh, during the filming of the Pro Am Golf Show. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much for coming out. On behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Gem Sunglasses, sweet pair of shades for you. Thank, thank you, you so much. And thank you for watching. Keep in mind, you can watch us every Saturday right here on CTV Edmonton at 1130. And if you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at proamgolfshow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Pro-Am Golf Show vehicles provided by Kentwood Ford.